Hello and welcome to another SQL tutorial. In order to use SQL to manipulate data and also to create objects that hold data in a relational database, you need to have a user account. In your role, you might need to create user accounts and assign different privileges and roles to these accounts so that the users can perform their job. And that is what we'll do in this video. In Oracle, any user that has been created in the database and is given a privilege to create database objects is called a schema owner. There is another type of user that does not have to own objects. Such users are simply called database users. Such users only interact with objects created in other schemas. In reality, many users in database are only database users rather than being object owners. For this video, I have used Oracle 11G, which is installed on my computer. And the instance of the database is running at the moment. When you install Oracle 11G or 10G, installer package also installs a couple of interfacing applications, a command line utility, which is known as SQL star plus. 11G comes with another application, a web-based application known as Apex, and I can start it with the help of this shortcut. But for this video, I have downloaded another application from Oracle website, which you can also download for free. And it is known as SQL Developer. We'll use this application to interact with database, to connect to database, and we'll create some users. So let's start SQL Developer by double clicking on this shortcut icon. And that's how the application looks like. When you install Oracle database, a number of users are created. Two of such users are very important and they are known as sys and system. Sys user is the owner of the database and the system user has access to all database objects. The user system also has the DBA role which gives it highest level of access and control. We will first have to connect to the database using the user system and I'll just click on this small plus icon and a dialog box opens up. First we'll have to give this connection a name. We can say system so it reflects the name of the user. The username of the system is system and the password I'll type in the password. When you install the database it you will have to provide a password and that is the password that I've, I've used here. We can test the connection and its success and we can also save password so we don't have to type in the password every time we want to connect to this database using this user and we can save this connection. A new connection has been created. We can simply double click on it and we have two windows here and these are the objects that are owned by user system and these are the other users. Now before we create a user let me show you how to see the how to see all the users in the database. The statement is select asterisk or star from dba underscore users. This is a database dictionary view that we are querying and we'll run this statement and we have all the users that are present at the moment in the database. All the users were created at the time of installation with the exception of this one. I created this user. Now there are a number of things. User ID, password, account status, log date, expiry date, default table space and temporary table space. At the moment I want you to understand table spaces only because you'll need to understand table spaces before you create a user. So without going into too much details, Oracle stores data physically in data files and logically in table spaces. 
each data file is associated with a table space which is not visible to user if you want your user to create objects in his or her schema then you'll have to assign not only a table space to the schema but also a disk space quota on table space notice each schema is associated with a table space user system and sys they both are using a table space called system user timon is using a table space called users that's where the objects for the timon will be created so let's create a user the statement is create user angel identified by wings now this statement you can create a user with the help of this statement angel is the name of the user and wings is the password so this will create a user but the problem is the user does not have will not have any access to any table space it means that user won't be able to create objects or store objects in the table space or and also you have to assign the amount of hard disk space the quota on the hard disk space that can be used by the objects of this user so the statement we can add to the statement it is default table space and we want the table space users to be used by this user and quota 1 M you can use kilobyte megabyte so 1 M on users so what we are saying create a user called angel with the password of wings and we want this user to use the table space called users that has already been created and the quota for this user on this table space is 1 megabyte only so we'll run this statement and user angel created now that's the user has been created if you run this statement again select star or asterisk from dba users you have another user called angel and it's using the default table space of users but that is not good enough this user is still does not have access to the database the let's try to connect to the database as this user and we'll click this new connection icon and we'll give this connection a name called angel so it reflects the name of the the user username is angel and the password is wings we can test this connection and it should fail in theory test failed user angel lacks create session privilege logon denied so although the user has been created in the database the user cannot connect to the database because it does not have enough privileges enough authority to connect to the database so let's deal with that problem you can say grant create session to angel 